keep pushing football Indonesia to, to the higher to the highest level and I think you're one of the biggest motives uh, of all of this so I just want to greet you all bye Uh, my feeling when I was joining Bayankara was just, uh, I was excited because uh, I was maybe even thinking stopping playing football and then I had the opportunity to come to Indonesia. It's my dad's, uh, my dad's country, so for me it was something special to, to accept this challenge. Yeah, the good feeling, uh, I mean like uh, I was excited, I was uh, up to a new challenge uh, or it was quitting or accepting this challenge and for me this challenge is something Something new, far away from Europe, something new, and yeah, I was, I was uh, happy to have this opportunity. No, my, uh, my experience in, in the team is very good. I think uh, uh, they're very good guys, very nice people. They accepted me very well. And even off the pitch, I got a lot of uh, lunch and dinner with them. So I think uh, it's a good group and that makes it uh, easier to adapt yourself. So at this moment, everything is going very well. Uh, the motivation, I don't know. I got a lot of experience from, uh, from Europe. So giving something to Indonesian football is something that can be uh, important for me and I think for the Indonesian football as well so I still have a lot to give because I feel myself good physically and now it's time for me to give something of my experience to the young guys in Indonesia in my team and to give something more to Indonesian football uh, yeah the football style in Indonesia is uh, is difficult to explain I'm not enough time here to say already how the real football is but I think it's very physically because everyone um, runs a lot uh, tactically it's maybe not the best yet but uh, I'm quite good in tactics so I can uh, adjust something in my team as well from in the pitch so that is something that I want to give to those guys um, until now everything is going good. I just played one official game, so I cannot tell much more about it. No, it's easy. Uh, it's easy because I, I got my own character and my character has always been easy. I mean, like where I've been on the world, in, I was in Italy, I was in Belgium. Uh, I traveled a, a lot because I like it and uh, my character is easy to accept every new challenge so I think uh, I'm happy at the moment uh, everything is going well uh, okay I'm far away from Europe but it doesn't change nothing because uh, like I said I can adapt myself uh, easy to any country and any culture Uh, the team spirit is very good. I mean, even if they're in the last position, if you, if I was in Europe now in a, in, a, in a team and we were in the last position, everyone would have killed us, you know. So the the fans, the in, the group would not be that uh, compact. But here everything is good. Everything is everyone is working well, and they still believe in the uh, not to relegate. So I think uh, we have a lot of effort to do. We have a lot of uh, results to get. But I think. Um, it is, it's not impossible. Uh, yeah, success this season with the team is difficult because we're in the last position. But I think uh, there is one, um, one goal to, to get and that is to, to save uh, Bayankara. And I think everyone wants this. 
uh, I put my maximum effort on it and I think the teammates they are on the same line with me so I think everything will be be on the on on the good way and and the first result was already good so now we hope there's still 11 games we hope uh, we will get the most wins possible and and to have a good season from now till the end and then maybe next season we can have other goals No, look, I'm a little bit older now, so it's not adjustment. Everything goes a little bit slower than before because I'm getting a little bit older, but I think my strength is still good, so there was not a lot of adjustment. I think everything went directly good. Uh, like I said, the, the players, they are all nice to me. They accepted me very easy. I get respected. I respect them, uh, them, them all as well, so... If everything is on, how do you say it? Uh, if everything is fluid, uh, everything goes easy, and at this moment, everything is going really fluid. Mm -hmm. No, a challenge for me is um, what it makes it uh, interesting was um, the fact that they were in the last position. So, if we can improve the last 11 games to stay in the league, it means we have done a, real, a good job. And uh, if the club can stay in the league, maybe next season, yeah, we can stay again and and we can do do a new season from the start and maybe going for other um, objectives. No, my personal goals. Um, I don't have personal goals. I just want to feel fit. I just want to feel healthy. I don't want uh, injuries. That's the most important thing for me and for all my teammates. And the uh, most important thing is enjoy on the pitch. That's the only thing that matters here because I came here um, for in, to enjoy on the pitch because I still love the game, I still love the, 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 the competition, I still love to be competitive and I think I'm still competitive. So um, my goal is just to, to show everyone that I still got it in me. Uh, my, my focus and my, my aspects of the team is just that uh, we can grow because there are a lot of young players and like I said, uh, being a little bit older is uh, easier for me to, to learn them uh, a lot and yeah, I think everyone listens to me so I, I said before already that uh, I put my experience, on, uh, I put my experience um, to the team so everyone can, everyone can learn, I talk a lot about uh, Exactly with um, young guys, I talk a lot about my my experiences uh, in the big clubs, so they can they can dream as well. Um, my future plans in my career: I just hope to finish the season well. I hope uh, we will arrive at our goal, that, so to, to 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 stay inside of the of the first league, um, and then yeah. As I told you before, I feel healthy, I feel good, physically I feel good, I feel myself competitive, so even if the season is done, I, uh, I want to keep going. Uh, if the team stays in the first league, why not with Bayankara? Otherwise, uh, we'll see for something else, but at this moment I'm focused at the last 11 games and uh, next season we will see. No, the balance in my life has always been the same. I'm my own outside of the pitch. I like to enjoy my life because otherwise uh, I'm not happy. And on the pitch, it's always the same. Work hard to become better even if I'm 35. I just want to play and want to show everyone that I'm still the best. So this is my character. This is my, what I've always, this is my mindset. This is something that is in me and off the pitch I like to to enjoy with friends, to go out to dinner, to go do my stuff with friends and, and, and even teammates. So um, it's easy for me. I think uh, there's a lot of attention in football. Uh, I think the fans are the, 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 biggest, uh, the biggest part of Indonesian football because there's a lot of fans, they don't only like Indonesian football, they don't only like the national team, they like football worldwide. 
And I remember when I came with Rome here as well, they knew every song of, uh, of uh, the Curva Sud from Rome, you know. So this was something very special because if you talk to them in, in Italian, they, do, they don't understand nothing, but they know every word of every song. So I think they are the ones that are pushing the league to a higher level. And I think yeah, it's important for them to keep going because uh, Indonesian football needs to grow. In, Indonesian football needs to have new structures. They need to, yeah, to, to, to have everything on their own and it takes time. But I think uh, the fans are amazing here from every, from every team. And I think, uh, yeah, that's the, that's the first uh, the first step of the, of the football that needs to push the Indonesian football. Memorable interactions with the football fans. No, I just uh, I just like it when. Uh, yeah, it's not only because I like it, but they ask me a lot of pictures. They ask me a lot of time. I, um, they talk to me, even if they talk in, in Bahasa. I don't speak Bahasa at the moment, so. Sometimes it's difficult for me to understand them, but yeah, the attention they give you, they let you, f um, they let you be comfortable, you know, they let, you, they let you be your own, they let you be... Uh, I like it, the situation, how it is over here. Okay, there's a lot of people in Jakarta, there's a lot of people that will stop me, but sometimes it's good to stop, sometimes it's good to, to give them time, but sometimes, yeah, you know, you want to be easy as well. And I think the people here, they understand it. Sometimes they're too fanatic, but... Okay, we have to accept this because, uh, like I said even before, there's a lot of um, there's a lot of Indonesian people that loves football, so it's something normal. I just want to show everyone that um, my, it's not about legacy. I don't feel myself too big to 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 be some legacy or something, but I just want to improve every young boy that. Um, that you can dream loudly, that you can have uh, goals in your life, because I was a young kid once as well, and my goal was to become a very good football player and to have a big career, to get a lot of money, because I think this is the, the, the first goal of everyone. So for me, the most important thing is that every young guy believes that everything is possible. You need to work for it, you need to have a lot of sacrifices for it, but yeah, that's for me the most important thing, because legacies and all those stuff, every player comes, new players come, Players go, they quit, they will not be uh, memorized uh, sooner or later. So for me, the most important thing is that uh, you can achieve everything and you can dream loudly as a young guy. I just want to, to thank all the Indonesian fans uh, for the welcome I had. Um, I hope, yeah. Uh, in any time we will meet each other, maybe not playing your team, but maybe playing against. And uh, in football, the, the friendly, the, being friendly to each other is the most important thing. So I hope uh, Indonesian football can grow with those amazing fans as, uh, in, the, in the front. So yeah, I just want to say that uh, keep pushing football in Indonesia to, to, the higher, to the highest level. And, I think you're one of the biggest motives uh, of all of this. So I just want to greet you all. Bye.